let me say this up front to all you docs, nurses, and frontliners. Remember your calling, because today ain't regular. So it's my hope you didn't just get into this field for a job, to punch the clock, to do your time, and go home, because if that's the case, then that would explain a whole lot. So I gotta ask you up front, do you remember your calling? Because a calling is a reason for being. It's not just an opportunity, it's not just a job, it's not just something you're good at, and it's definitely not a passion project. A calling is purpose. And not everybody can become a doctor, a nurse, a PA, an EMT. Not everybody can do this. And that's on a regular day. And today ain't regular. Today we live in a world you didn't see coming. Med school didn't prepare you for this. Nursing school didn't prepare you for this. The boys didn't prepare you for this. Eminem didn't prepare you for this. Every day you face traumas and pandemic, gunshot wounds and social distancing, positive pressure suits and intubations, and even job insecurity when you are an essential worker on the front lines. Today ain't regular. And you gotta remember your call instead of the waiting room. Now you dial a number, take a breath, and say, despite our best efforts, because the family is not there. Now you hold the phone. You listen, you cry, you hurt. What do you do with that? For your own mental health and physical well-being, for the stability of your family, children, husbands, wives, parents, for the care of your patients, who are scared to death, suffering, and now, more than ever, alone, you've got to remember your call. The call to stand in the gap, to be an everyday hero, all too often unsung and unrecorded. The call to stand between the living and the dead and fight with everything you've got for the victims of mass casualty events, car accidents, and now, a pandemic. The call to sacrifice work-life balance, handle the stress, and put in the hours. Remember the call that demands you have bravery and compassion in equal measure, more than just skill and knowledge. Letters behind your name are good. You earn them. But kindness, gentleness, patience, endurance, these are the hallmarks of those who remember the call. Today, you are called to go beyond the anatomy, physiology, the AI, and 5G. You're called to go outside the limits of science and data and evidence-based medicine and simply provide a ministry of healing. The call to stand in the gap every day when you get into the back of the ambulance, see a patient in the clinic, when you walk through the doors of the ER, when you hang another bag by the bedside in the ICU, or you go to the OR. Remember the call. But maybe you think now's a good time to walk away. Now's a good time to ride off into the sunset and let somebody else deal with it. Maybe you think somebody else can do your job. Somebody else can fill your shoes. Somebody else will order the labs, run the code, hold the hand, call the family, make the first incision, and check for a pulse. Maybe somebody else could do that. But you raised your hand, you put on the scrubs, you put in the hours, you wear the white coat, you make the rounds, and you answer the call. I know you're tired. I know you're worn out. And all you want to do is just go home. Hug your kids, kiss on the family, and breathe. To you, I say hold fast. Hold fast to something singular and solid. Hold fast to something that transcends this moment of darkness. Hold fast to something bigger than you. Remember who called you. Remember who gave you purpose. You see, that fire that burns within you is called hope. And hope shines its light in the darkness on the outside and dispels the darkness on the inside. To the docs, 
nurses, PAs, EMTs, and all the frontliners. Remember your call.